It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. So, I am excited about today's episode. I'm here at the keyboard. I've got my Hey, y'all, the Daily Dog shirt on. And I'm really excited to bring this one to you. This is not a first reaction. I have heard this song before, and I bet that you have as well. But uh, a lot of people have requested that uh, we look at this song on the channel. And as I was thinking about it, I really was uh, reminded that, you know, I have heard this several times in the past. And it is a very beautiful song, and I actually really like it. But I don't think that I've ever paid attention to what the lyrics are and what they mean, and I've never really uh, tried to break it down from a compositional standpoint, so I'm eager to do it today. What is the song? The song is Silent Lucidity, and the band is Queensryche. So uh, this song, Silent Lucidity, is off of their 1990 album called Empire. It was the era of the power ballad. It was also when I was in middle school and about to go into high school. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the song is composed by lead guitarist Chris DeGarmo, and uh, to this day, uh, this is the band's biggest hit that they have ever had. Uh, let's see, Eddie Jackson is on bass and vocals, Chris DeGarmo on lead guitar and backing vocals, Scott Rockenfield on the drums, Jeff Tate on lead vocals, uh, Michael Wilton on rhythm guitar and vocals, and Michael Kamen is the orchestrator and conductor because as i recall this has quite a bit of orchestral instrumentation included in it so uh i will i will tell you this i had to look up what lucidity means i was pretty sure but i wanted to uh to make sure that i wasn't saying something that was incorrect lucidity means clarity of expression clearness of thought uh intelligibility right uh, clearness of thought, uh, or it could mean the brightness or luminosity of something. But I think for this, uh, in this context, they're talking about clearness of thought and the clarity of expression. This song is about someone who is having a lucid dream. And that's uh, when you are aware that you are dreaming. And while you're dreaming, you can interact with the dream or even control parts of it. That is something that I've never been able to do. I normally don't remember my dreams, but uh, this seems quite fascinating, and I am very much looking forward to going back to a classic song from my own uh, upbringing and childhood and see if we can remember uh, how it ticks. So let's do it, y'all. Here is Silent Lucidity by Queensryche. Here we go. opening acoustic sound it's very lovely and clean Hush now don't you cry wipe away the tear drop from your eye and Jeff's in a low range his voice is quite soothing and intimate and safe in bed. It was all it's the one chord we're in G it goes down to the sixth chord the E minor chord The four. This the two. Back to four. another chance. Wide awake, you face the day. Your dream is over. Or has it just begun? Back to one. And that's the major third. Go down to the second. And then the ninth to the seventh of the E chord. There's a place I like to lie. A doorway that I've run through night. Relax, child, you. Just so well orchestrated, and so well put together, it's so warm of the sound. Suddenly 
and just listen to the great orchestration with those strings over the top of it. Five chord. Four. I remember that part. I remember that part. It's just so warm and lovely sounding. Whoa! What happened? Yeah. Flat six. The four, major four. Flat three. Whoa! Flat two. Visualize your dream. Recording in the present tense. Put it into a permanent form. If you persist in your efforts, you can achieve dream control. I don't remember the voiceover part. I'm not sure what they said. gone to it. Right? Big five. Done four. Holds up, y'all. It really does. What a great tune. Wait. The basses in the orchestra just quoted the Brahms lullaby, uh, the vegan lead. Uh, lullaby and good night. Da da dee 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 dee. It's in the wrong key. I think that was originally in D. Uh, wow. Lovely. So uh, there's a couple of spots in this uh, with the text that really spoke to me as I went back and read in today. Uh, towards the end, uh, if you open your mind for me, you won't rely on open eyes to see. The walls you built within come tumbling down and a new world will begin. And then they say this, living twice at once, which is an interesting concept, living twice at once you learn you're safe from the pain in the dream domain. A soul set free to fly a round trip journey in your head. You know, dreams are like our subconscious mind just firing while our body is, is recuperating, right? Is sleeping. And, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time in the dream world. And uh, it's, if we can harness, if we can learn to harness some of the, the, uh, the subconscious, that's firing in there and learn to have some meaning in it, maybe their dreams can be helpful for us and uh, relieve uh, past trauma or, or help us to 
uh, fully, more fully realize our ourselves and our own gifts and uh, what we need to do and what we need to let go of. Uh, really fascinating song. 1990. How old was I? I was 13 years old, y'all. Uh, I think I heard this on the radio and I really uh, kind of liked it, but I never really paid attention. But wow, holds up, y'all. Really, really great song. And this one specifically uh, was suggested by our good friend Ray, and uh, but several other people have been asking for it, so I was happy to get it on the channel for all of us today. I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane to Queensryche, Silent Lucidity from 1990. Thanks, y'all. We will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.